up on an area? There's a lot of factors that I feel like you, you have to exhaust a lot of factors before I feel like it, it's just not worth it. One being you, you went into an area not knowing the CPC and it cost you an arm and a leg where I mean, your, your, your CPC is maybe $10 for most of your keywords and you just failed to completely do your research. But even then, I don't necessarily think I would drop it until, one, I have called every business owner running Google Ads. I have called the map, map section. And uh, if I'm not getting leads, like obviously, if, if, if you're doing everything right, the CPC looks good, your area and population look good. And, and you, 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 I mean, you found a business owner. If you're not getting leads, obviously, that, that's an issue. But if you're not, you can always find a business owner. If you're getting leads and you're not finding a business owner, it's like you're doing something wrong. I feel like there are hungry business owners. That wouldn't be necessarily a reason why it wouldn't. The only reason I feel like I would drop an area would be if I wasn't getting any leads at all to the point where I couldn't even hook a business owner and get him on the hook. That would be like my only excuse. Because I feel like I'm just selling that. If, if, if I'm calling people and they're not wanting it, I feel like it's got to be something to do with me. The misconception that everybody has is that it's a, a list of business owners, right? We made our list. These are the ones that we're paying for ads. These are the ones that are, you know, on Google page two, whatever, whatever, whatever. And there's a finite amount of them and you go through and it's yes, no, right? This person said no, this person said no, this person said no, and then boom, I got a yes, right? And that's how we look at it. We look at it as black and white, yes, no, okay? But here's the reality, okay, is that your whole freaking, uh, um, I guess I would call it your whole shtick, your whole strategy should not be, all right, I'm going to work, you know, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, right? I've got 10 business owners. I'm going to work it. I'm going to work it. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to call. I'm going to give a free trial. And I'm going to either, it's either a yes or a no. I'm either going to say yes to that area and I got a deal or I'm a no and I'm on to the next freaking area. Okay. That's how you guys are looking at it. Not all of you, but many of you. Okay. The reality, go, uh, the reality though, guys, is the way that you should be looking at it is it should be a giant, this should be a giant circle of either yeses or not now, maybe later. If you are getting leads, whether organically or through ads, there is always a deal to be had. And I, the answer to the question is, when should you give up on an area? If you're getting leads, the answer is never. Never. There's always a deal. One of the things that I think people don't realize is, is yes, we want to go to people spending money on ads. Yes, we want to go to people uh, uh, um, already paying for home advisor, Angelus, et cetera. But guess what? I've gotten plenty of deals with people who have never spent money on ads, Okay. Those are our top people we want to go to, but that doesn't mean that's our only people. 